Live lunchtime variety show. Live lunchtime variety show. Live lunchtime variety show. Have some comedy with your lunch time. Someone needs to mute the YouTube. Someone needs to mute the YouTube. Someone needs to mute the YouTube. I so bet it's probably it. Connor. The lunchtime variety show. The lunchtime variety show. The lunchtime variety show. Have some comedy at lunch. Medical and Associates presents the Zoom Talk Therapy Hour. Sponsored by Blue Cross and Togo Sandwiches. Yes, uh, welcome to the um, uh, welcome to the group therapy time. Is there anyone in the call? Ah, oh, my video is up. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yes, I. Uh, uh, hello, welcome to. The Hi. Hi. Yeah. Thank you for for taking me today. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm having a little, little bit of anxiety. Um, I don't, I've been put on a um, performance improvement plan at work. Um, uh, you are looking to improve your performance. Very good. You are come to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. If we could just sort of, I mean, I know you're a therapist and maybe I shouldn't use you as a career counselor, but, um, I think, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really worried about, about my performance at work. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we'll get to the root of this problem. First, tell me all about your parents. Um, well, that's difficult. I don't, um, I don't really, I don't, I didn't really have a traditional upbringing, so I, I don't, uh. I don't this have... is the problem. This is the problem right here. We found it in one question. Okay. Right, Doctor Weinberger, you go. You go, Doctor Weinberger. All right. I, I, I don't. Problem. I don't. I don't really see how um, not coming from a biological male or or biological female um, kind of leads me to the place where I am today. You know. Okay, um, yeah performance you need to improve at work and I will tell you why. Okay. Well, um, I, I think, I think part of, part of the issue that I'm having with my employer, um, is, um, just like time management. I'm just not very effective in, um, you know, managing, managing my time. Yes. And you know why that is? Because you never watch mommy and daddy manage time, so you don't know how. Oh, Dr. Weinberger, you got it. You still got it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. um. All right. Well, thanks. I I just I don't see how I can fit fix that now. I I don't I don't have parents. I I won't ever have parents. You just got um, to forgive yourself for not having the parents. That's all. Okay, I, I've I'm never. Not solved. It is not your fault. Welcome to therapy, uh, Dr. Weinberger, nail it. But I didn't have to pay for this. Okay. Hi. Am I in the right place? Uh, this is the therapy hour. Would you like to talk about your problems? Yeah, um, I made a commitment to myself to um, to get out um, to get out in nature uh, to get really. Yeah, I wanted to get isolated and uh, do some really deep introspection. And um, it's not what I thought. Um, I'm all alone out here. And I don't know if you can see in my boat, but um, I forgot to bring like any provisions whatsoever. And um, that is because no man is an island. We need each other. We are interconnected. Oh, you're killing it, Dr. Weinberg. You're killing it. Sorry. I, I, Am I in the right? Is this like a daytime rave? I'm trying to do the uh, medical Zoom therapy hour. Yeah, it's you're just... in the right place. And I'm telling you that I know what your problem is. You think you can be all alone, but we all need each other. 
Oh, come on, go get together with someone right now. Well, it's just not that easy. I just went through like a really, really bad breakup. Oh, it no. was like, yeah, it was like a breakup that played out over the course of a year. And um, that's why I wanted to get away. But now, now that I'm out here all by myself, I think, I think I love her. And I think I made a big mistake. Uh oh. Whoopsie do. You made a boo boo. Do you have any tips? Why are you in a spaceship? I saw it helps me to give the best possible therapy to have access to all the world's data. So I'm in a satellite. I'm throwing my phone in the in the river. You will need that. Hello, welcome to uh, welcome to Zoom therapy. Yeah, hi. I am. Um, I just uh, honestly, I just I just wanted somebody to talk to. Um, I, I fled to the rainforests of the Amazon jungle. Um, and sometimes it gets pretty lonely out here. So it's nice to just see another human face and uh, speak to them. Very good. You're very far ahead of the last guy. He didn't even understand that you need people, but you need me and I need you. Now we're together. Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This this feels this feels nice. Um, it's it's nice to um, your voice seems uh, soothing, and and uh, and kind. I've been told that about my voice. It is very kind. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's it's uh, strong and to the point, um, and I think it 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 triggers me in a lot of um, really good places. So. Um, Lots of do you people have anything? Do you have anything lying around where you could just uh, you could just read something to me, like a book or a set of instructions or? Uh, yes. Uh, here we go. This is a fairy tale that my mother used to tell me in the original German. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna try and put my head down and um, just really treat you like a like a lullaby machine. Okay. Doc, I, I, uh, I, I really want to, I want to stop you, but mostly because, have you ever thought about singing? Oh, I'm supposed to be giving you therapy, make you feel good. You I, I want I want other people to feel how I feel right now. So okay. um okay. listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get my recording materials, but I will I will sign on shortly. I feel like a star. Okay, drink drink some peppermint water and, and really prep prep those vocal cords oh. for me, all right? Oh, I never thought okay, I'll be here. The lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety shop. Little lunchtime variety shop. Have some comedy at lunchtime. Oh man, I came all the way out here and I forgot my flashlight. No, oh, that's too bad. How are we going to tell ghost stories together, little man? I don't yeah. know, Uncle Frank. If only there was a way to get access to a flashlight right away, like um, some kind of instant flashlight app. Yeah, like a like a like an Amazon delivery service, but just for flashlights. Yeah, and something that is more socially conscious than Amazon.com. I don't yeah. know, Uncle Frank. Without a flashlight, whoa, what? Check I heard you were in need of light. Yeah, my uncle and I want to tell ghost stories in the woods. And toke up. Yeah, and we want to smoke reef together. <laughs> nice. At Big Gibson and Gibson Plastic Surgeons, we can install biometric luminescent lights straight into your eyes. That way, you won't have to carry around flashlights. No more wasting time with batteries. And... It's 100% environmentally friendly. 
sweet bong rips. That's super exciting. Whoa, you mean with the flashlights already in our eyes, we never have to worry about bringing a flashlight again. We can just focus on telling ghost stories and taking bong rips. That's right, but be careful. Uh, according to the uh, FDA and the SEC and the CDC, you shouldn't make direct eye contact with any other person once you get our surgery. Gibson and Gibson plastic surgeons, the plastic surgeons that are working for you. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Have some comedy at lunchtime. Oh, I just wish I could get out of this small town. I just, I feel like I was destined for greater things. You are going nowhere. Listen to me and listen to me good. You're never going to get off this hillside. You were born on this hillside. You grew up on this hillside. And you're going to die on this hillside. But I have dreams, and I, I wanted to chase them, and I've been saving up uh, seeds and nuts and berries to maybe go on a journey. That sounds fun. You stupid idiots. You think you can get somewhere with nuts and berries? How much you think it costs to catch a train to New York City? I don't know how much. Five hundred thousand nuts and berries. Hey guys, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna catch a a train back to to Queens. I feel like this living on a farm, trying to get in touch with myself thing really isn't working out. So uh, it's it's been nice seeing all your animals down here, but um, Aunt Uncle, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna catch the next Metro North back. Appreciate your hospitality. What? Man, she doesn't even realize that this isn't a farm. This is just a hillside. I want to move to New York City. I'm gonna crawl in her backpack. You can have all my nuts and berries. I'm going to the Big Apple. Wow, there are apples there? I ate an apple once. It was a honey crisp, and it was refreshing. If I could go to a place where I could eat apples like that all the time, I think I'd be pretty happy. You stupid idiots. You stupid idiots. First of all, those apples, they all have pesticides on them. Second of all, you think you're going to hide in someone's backpack? What do you think happens? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know I'm going on an adventure. Also, fuck you for shitting on my dreams, you dumb sheep. I am a ram. I'm a ram. Look at my horns. And I'm not. Bye, Aunt and Uncle. Catching the train. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Have some comedy with your sandwich, juice box, and apple. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I've been goofing around with my filters all morning. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on my vlog. Um, I know that just like everybody else, we're all like trying to find love during the quarantine. So I just wanted to put together a little video of some of my trials and tribulations as I navigate this dating hellscape environment i don't know you be the judge don't forget to put your comments down below and if you like what you see today um don't forget to like and subscribe and now on to the dates
240 miles an hour. That's how fast I can get this bad boy. 240 MPH. And that's uh, miles per hour, I guess. MPH, miles per hour. Coast Guard has me on their most wanted list. I killed a fish. Ooh. Killed a fish last Saturday, and I don't care. Okay. I mean, you should... I love that you have a boat. Um, I think that's great. I just feel like maybe you should take better care of the wildlife. I don't have a boat. I own the boat. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? You know no. what I mean? No, if you have a boat, then you own it. What's What's the... So you got to get on the boat to understand. I also have, I got a mini fridge in here that's self-cooling. You understand that? It yeah. self-cools. All you do is plug it in and the cool air comes from within the fridge. I got steaks in there. I got a bunch of steaks in my fridge and I just right. need someone to eat them with. Oh, well, actually, that's funny. I I actually just uh, went vegan a couple weeks ago so um, you just went to vegetable what V I i went vegan um so i don't eat eggs or or cheese or i i actually don't even eat honey i i went i went full hog oh i'm mean, actually well yeah i mean i went all the way it's I, funny because you know what the name of my like boat is animal i don't like using animal um analogies anymore either because i i feel like they're they can be offensive and true yeah People. Well, here's an animal analogy. My boat, it's called Full Hog. Oh, your boat is called Full Hog. Hang on, I'm getting pulled over by the Coast Guard. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, it's so nice to see you. I, I did not think anyone would come and, um, and want to hang out with a Frenchman. Uh, I feel very socially isolated here. Sure. I mean, listen, it's... We're all doing stuff through Zoom, so I figured I should open my reach to international dating possibilities as well. Wonderful, wonderful. The, You're really close to your camera. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, there's, you know, there are, there are lots of things I like to see up close, like your beautiful eyes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's really sweet. Um, uh, anyway. Uh, are, you in a, are, you in a, are you in a church? What's that uh, about? You know, it's uh, it's it's a little bit complicated. Uh, I am, how do you say, already married. Are you, what you um, to God? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, no. listen, I'm I'm actually very into open relationships, but since you're a priest, I don't. That might be a little more complicated. Well, I guess there are plenty of fish in the sea. The but, sea, of, the, like the Sea of Galilee. Yes, yeah, so, uh, there are many animals on Noah's Ark. Many delicious yeah. animals. Well, so the, those animals are lost. already are already paired up. So. Yes, uh, perhaps it is our destiny to both be very lonely, to, uh, alone. But that is God's will. Well, I kind of, I, I kind of don't want to be alone. This, that's what this whole thing is about. Okay. Well, I hope you find, uh, I hope you find your other slice of bacon, as they say in America. Slice of bacon. Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. I've written five books. All of them are science fiction. Okay. Oh, that's first great. One, yeah, first one's about a guy stuck on a spaceship that's going in the opposite direction of the which way he's going to go, and then the second book is actually a prequel to that, and it's set inside a quarry because the guy he works at a quarry, and what he does is he blows up the quarry rocks, and he gets sick of it, and so when he's like, I can't do this anymore, and so then he wants to get on a spaceship. The third book is. It's actually not science fiction. It's about baseball. Whole thing's about baseball. So totally unrelated. And then the fourth book, I combine all three of the books, and it's about a portal to another universe that opens up inside a, di a baseball diamond in Kansas City. Wow, that's that's great. I mean, you've wow, you've been writing you and you wrote all of these books during quarantine. That's right, handwritten, and I'm, and they're all self published. And you know what? I'm sorry. I gotta uh. I gotta go. My mom, uh, my mom needs me to. Uh, my mom needs me to water the lawn. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that you still live with your mom. Oh. I. Uh, 
Are you okay? <laughs> I'm pretty lonely. Oh, well, <laughs> okay, that's great. I'm also, I'm also lonely. That's why I'm doing these online dates. Yeah. And it, you know what? I, I know this might sound really forward, but um, you've got really great skin. It's like really, <laughs> it's like really smooth, like an eggshell. You know, in one of my books, this guy cracks open an egg and and inside is he sees he sees dinosaur DNA. I gotta go. I can't handle this. Oh. Hi, you're really cute. Are you? <laughs> you're really charming. I can't. Yeah, you look like you're you're a really charming critter. Critter? Is that right to say? I don't Tinder. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw each other on Tinder. We both swiped like, so that's great. Wow. Yeah. New like you really like cars, right? Yeah. Cars. Yeah. Yeah, driving is super fun. I love taking little drives just to kind of clear my head. And so, what kind of what kind of cars have you been like fixing? and Volvo and um, oh, I love that you do like domestic and foreign cars. That's like, I love that you keep that open. Um, I growing up, we only we only bought American cars because, um, yeah, because my my family just wanted to keep it in America. So, so it's, I know, I know, it's not something I'm proud of, but. Um, mm. uh, I yeah. <laughs> Right. I mean, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's, it's all about, um, it's all about growing, right? <laughs> oh, bye. Sorry. I didn't really mean to say, okay. Wow. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this, but I think I... the government, I think the government's trying to get a hold of my latest book. The government's trying to take my book. I need, yeah. can I get your address? I need to mail you. I got to mail you my, my, oh, I, I would love, I would love to, to be a safe harbor for your book. Um, is this, is this the egg one? The this egg is one? the fifth, this is the fifth book in the series and it combines all the elements. It combines the science fiction. It combines the rock quarry. It combines the baseball diamond and it combines the egg. Now, hang on a second. You said you wanted to be a safe harbor. I can't mail this to an area with water. No, no, no. I'm I, because if the pages get wet, it damages the manuscript. I can't do it. Can't right. Do no, it. I I totally understand. I'm nowhere near a body of water. I actually I live in Ohio, so salt water, bay water doesn't matter what it is. I can't get it near any liquids. You have a kitchen with running water. No, well, I I do, but I won't I won't keep it in the kitchen. I can keep it in my bedroom. There's can't no do it. I can't do this, and I can't date you. My it's it's not going to work. And also, my mom doesn't want me to date anyway. Uh, uh, oh. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, it was really tricky, and I, I actually really liked the author, but you know, you can't make people love you. So um, I guess I'll just keep dating. And um, if anybody has any tips on like dating extraterrestrials, I actually also really liked the little auto guy. Um, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. Have some comedy at lunch. Little lunchtime variety show. Little lunchtime variety show. The show is over for today, but next time you can watch it again.
if you enjoyed the show, you can donate to All Out Comedy Theater. Uh, go to Eventbrite and search their donations page or go to the event, Facebook event for this event and donate to All Out Comedy Theater. All right. Thank you all for coming. See you next time. And buy my book. <laughs> and buy my books. They're yeah, about a rock buy quarry. your books. They're so good. There's a, there's a baby. This baby's in the book. This what? little baby saves the world from an yeah. egg that has dino DNA. Yeah, I'm a savior. Ha, 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 ha.